And today I'm gonna to play the game that I call hot compressor. Why is the compressor hot? Because it's hot and it's not running. It's got all the makings of a freezer. It's got a heated door, electric defrost. It looks like it has a fan switch to where the fans don't come on unless the coil gets cold. All right, so let's pull out the skid and check it out. We've got both fans running, so that's good. That thing doesn't look good right there. So this thing here takes 28 pounds, I mean 28 ounces, 404A. All right, so just now it tried. It did something, it tried to do something. The fans slowed down and then it dropped out and the fans sped back up. Yeah, I wanna open up this box and see what's going on in there. Did it again, I want y'all to see it so you know what I'm talking about. There, it did it. Hopefully the camera picked up on that. And I think I'm finally shit out of luck because I need a new meter and I think, I have a feeling I'm gonna need one here. So these here, they got the, uh, the center screw right there. Take that thing off. Or oh, it'd be nice if the freaking brace wasn't in the way. And it'd be nice if I could pull the skid out. If this stupid wire wasn't holding me back. One of y'all asked me a while back, what kind of uh, units I like. You know, which are the most durable or reliable? Well, this is one that's made cheaply. That's right. At least they're smart enough to put these 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 things in there, you know? So you can take these things off. Take these things out. That. There we go. And then the thing will slide out, you know? In case you didn't know, these copper lines back here are, are rolled up like this in a loop or a spring-like thing. That way they can they can come out and be okay. Just always try to pay good attention, you know, as you're pulling it out, that you're not gonna gonna hurt anything, and you'll be okay. You get it out and put it on the ground here, and you can work on it. I'm pretty screwed now. I, I've got to test this stuff, and I need a, a a decent, reliable meter to do it. You know, I'll tell you guys what, man. This meter here. The CL390. This is my favorite meter because I like work, you know, I work on cars. My cars, I don't have nobody fix my cars and stuff. So I like to measure, I find it interesting actually to measure DC current. And this thing measures up to 400 amps DC current. No, thank you. Um, so, you know, I don't need no field piece stuff. You know, cheapest meter for field piece is like $136 at uh, what you call it, Century. Oh man, I'm not gonna buy that. I'm not gonna buy that shit, man. I'm gonna buy this one. This one's a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. And Klein's not, I don't, I've never talked to Klein before. So this is just a good meter. You guys should buy it. All right, so here it is, the meter. This is what you get for a hundred bucks. Alright, so I'm reading set. This one's testing at full strength, which is the run cap. Okay, my compressor. The resistance on it is 7.5, 5.6, and like 1.7, something like that. So it seems right across those three terminals. My start cap is rated at 97, but it's testing at 169. So, I don't know... That could be the problem, that the, that the start cap is blown and it's showing 169 on here. I'm not sure. Need a new start cap. Now here's another thing, you guys. This is not good. This is a problem. And while you may go between here with your own meter and it might show to be good, like, just because it does that doesn't mean that when we put current through it and we try to get current to go to the compressor from the start winding, that it's going to work. In fact, don't let that deceive you because it can be very deceiving to think that if you've got, you know, no resistance between here, you show zero ohms, that it's good. I think we need to get uh, a new starting, a new start kit for it. Whole new box like this. 
and uh, replace it before we kill the compressor. And then these go back in a certain way, so you got to make sure you put them in the right way. All right. You've got tabs up here, the sides, but then you've also it, it's directional also. So this one, this one goes in like like this, not like this. So I'm going to watch it for a minute. And see if I can confirm some leaks. Bet y'all be able to. That thing looks like crap, you guys. Well, you know, if there's not bubbles now, I promise you, based on the way it's flaking away, the layers are flaking off of the, the copper, it's just a matter of time before I do see some bubbles, or, or it's just a matter of time before we get some leaks. So they might as well order one of these and replace it before it goes out on them and then we have to wait to order it and then the unit's down. Because they don't like their units being down at this facility.